Hi everyone, this is Lenal and you are watching Lenal's Thought. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the computer hardware system. So this is the this is the episode one of it. But next, what is a computer hardware? A computer hardware it includes the physical part of computer such as the keys or the central processing unit, monitor, mouse, keyboard, computer data, storage, graphics card, sound card speakers and motherboard by contrast software is a set of instruction that can be stored in a run by hardware and hardware is a term because it's hard or rigid with respect to changes whereas software is soft because it was easy to change hardware is typically directed by the software to execute any command or instruction a combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system although other systems exist with only hardware so it means na um, isang, ang isang CPU da or isang computer hardware is composing of mouse, monitor, keyboard, motherboard, computer data storage, graphics card, sound card, speakers, and central processing unit. So alam naman natin to and familiar tayo dito as an IT student, we are familiar about the CPU and um, components of it. Next, types of computer system. So, makita nyo rito, meron tayong picture ng laptop, tablet, and um, desktop. Yes, personal computer. A personal computer is a one of the most common types and computer due to its ver versatility and rel relatively low price. Desktop personal computers have a minor, have a monitor, a keyboard, mouse, and computer case. So, yun nga sinabi ko kanina, ang isang computer is nag binubuo siya ng computer ng ay binubuo siya ng mouse, keyboard and monitor. The computer keys holds the motherboard, fixed or removable disk drives from data storage, the power supply and the may contain other peripheral devices such as modems or network interfaces. So separating the elements allow the user to arrange the components in a pleasing, comfortable array at the cost of managing power and data cables between them. So, yon. Next is the laptop. Um, another type of computer is a laptop designed for port portability but operates similarly to desktop PCs. So, um, yung laptop daw is parehas lang naman sila ng function and gamit ng PC but ginawa in, binawa ang laptop because um, for portability and comfortability sa mga tao para less hassle and pwede madala kahit saan. E di ba kasi nga ang PC kailangan fix place lang siya and hindi siya pwedeng dalhin kung saan-saan. Pwede rin siyang dalhin kung saan-saan pero kinakailangan pa ng maraming bagay na magbubuhat nun. Nang maraming bagay para mabuhat yon. And next, eh, ang laptop daw is a contain the keyboard display, keyboard display and processor in a one case. The monitor in the folding upper cover of the keys can be closed for transportation to protect the screen and keyboard. Instead of a mouse, laptops may have a touchpad or pointing stick. So, yun nga, um, paras lang naman sila ng function ng PC. But then again, ang laptop is for the portability of user. Para hindi siya, para kung sa, pwede mo siya dalhin and um, ma, madali, rin, madali rin, pwede mo siya dalhin kung saan saan and mas mabilis. And laptop is also... Um, yun nga, port out kung sinasabi na same function sila ng um, PC well, pinagkaiba lang nila is yung design ang laptop is more on parang kinompressed but yung PC hindi next is the tablet tablet are portable computer that uses a touch screen as a primary input device so some table, some tablets include fold out keyboards or offer connection to separate external keyboard some models of laptop computers have detachable keyboard which allows the system to be configured as a touchscreen's tablet. They are sometimes called 2-in-1 detachable laptops or tablet-laptop hybrids. So, 
I'm from PC, nag naging laptop. From laptop, naging tablet. So, ito yung laptop. Yung laptop naman is same as computer pa rin naman siya. But then again, pinaliit na version ng laptop. Yun nga ulit, for, com for top port portable computer that uses a touchscreen as a primary input device. So, um, yung keyboard natin and yung keyboard natin is magiging touch screen siya or nandun mismo sa loob ng screen yung keyboard natin and yung mouse natin is ang magsisilbay nun is since touch screen nga siya um, ating mga daliri. So, parang ganun lang, parang laptop lang din siya pero mas pinakompress pa. But then again, kung pag-iisipin pang storage ang pag-uusapan, mas malaki ang storage ng PC compared sa other computer devices. Next is the hardware. So, ito yung mga hardware na, na binubuo ng isang computer. First is the computer case. It encloses most of the components of the system. It provides mechanical support and protection for internal elements such as the motherboard, disk drives, and power supplies and controls, and directs the flow of cooling air over internal components. So, pinubuo nito sa loob ang mga motherboard nandito sa loob. And ito rin yung magiging central processing unit natin, which is nandito rin yung power supply. And kapag, pinip, kapag pinipindot itong part na to, dun mag-open yung, mag yung PC natin and mag start mag-function. Next is the power supply or PSU converts alternating current electric power to low voltage direct current power of the computer. Laptops can run on a built rechargeable battery. The PSU typically uses switch mode, a power supply or SMPS with power MOSFETs, power metal oxide, semiconductor field effect transistor, used in converters and regulator circuits for the SMF. SMPS. So, again, um, pag sa computer naman, pinapasok to dito sa loob. But sa laptop, meron siyang built-in and mas maliit na power supply. The motherboard is the main component of the component. Main component of computer. It is a board with integrated circuitry and connects with other parts of computer including the CPU, the RAM, the disk drives, as well as the any peripherals connected via ports of expansion slots. The integrated circuit or IC chips in a computer typically contain billions of tiny metal oxide semiconductor field back transistors. So, ito yung iktsura ng motherboard natin. So, as an IT student, syempre famil familiar tayo sa um, motherboard na yan. Nandito rin yan sa loob ng computer case. And, ito naman yung expansion card. An expansion card in a computer is a printed circuit board that can be inserted into an expansion slot of computer, motherboard, or backplane. To add functionality to a computer system via the expansion bus, expansion cards can be used to obtain or expand the features not offered by the motherboard. So, ito yung expansion card. So, dito nilalagay yung um, if magusto mo mag-extend ng storage or for graphical or graphics card, dito mo siya ilalagay sa expansion card natin para madagdagan yung graphics and yung storage ng laptop natin or ng computer natin. A storage device, ito naman is a storage device is an any computing hardware and digital media that is used for storing, porting, and extracting data files and objects. It can hold the store and information of both temporarily and permanently and can be internal or external to a computer, server, or any similar computing device to the storage or software function of fundamental computers.